Hey everybody, we have been back in Kansas City for about a week and a half now. We came back to Kansas City for a wedding and left the scamp in Denver, Colorado to be renovated. The night before leaving Colorado, we took everything out of the scamp to organize and prep for renovations. Organizing the scamp the night before was so nice because all we had to do, well, all Baron had to do the next morning was attach the scamp to the Subaru and we were ready to rock. Is it lighter than normal? Oh. 6 a.m., not so much. We stopped at the recycle center before leaving town. When we go to the grocery store, we try our best not to buy foods and packaging that can't be recycled. Though I recently listened to a podcast by 99% Invisible about recycling, and it said that now that China isn't taking the US's recycling, most of our recycling isn't even being recycled. It has to be pristine, completely clean to be recycled. And even if it is, a lot of that is still going into landfills. That's not at all to say that we should stop trying to recycle. What I think I should be saying here is that we all need to be more aware of what we're consuming. If you have never noticed before, try to now pay attention to the amount of single-use plastics you go through in a day or a week, and you might be surprised. I'm basically Captain Plan. You look like him. Thanks. We headed north and landed just outside of Denver at the shop of Nick Panzak, or canned hampers on Instagram. Nick has been renovating old campers for about two or so years, and we met him originally as he was out camping in his renovated canned ham. Her name is Barbara. She was extremely well built, and with all the work Nick touts on his Instagram page, I knew we would be in great hands. I asked for one high five on camera, but they both decided on this sort of chicken wing thing, thinking it might help prevent the spread of sickness. After all, Baron was about to be the best man in the wedding. Then we were back on the road toward the flat lands of Kansas City. For those of you who don't know, Baron and I are both from Kansas City. When we come back to Kansas City, I usually go through my old clothes in my old closet. Most of these are memorabilia, I guess, like jerseys and jackets from my old sporting days. Some are clothes that I'm saving for a life outside of a trailer. This is me. And me as a senior. And that one's me. And I painted this wall. I love making jewelry when I come back to Kansas City. I've made jewelry here and there since I was in like middle school. My usual MO is to spread my beads and things across the floor like this. But right now a lot of my jewelry is downstairs on the kitchen table as I work to list all these new earrings online. I'm super excited about all of them and make sure to follow me on Instagram for exact dates and times that I'll be listing these earrings on my website, elsaray.com. It'll be very, very soon. We've done a lot of fun things since we have been back in Kansas City. I went with my brother to a pig and sheep farm. Eric, my brother, is the head brewer for Crane Brewing Co. in Raytown, Missouri. 
and this pig farm takes the spent grain that Crane has brewed to feed the pigs. These pigs are some special type of Asian breed, not commonly found in the U.S. They take far longer to grow than normal USDA pigs, but they eat everything. Jonathan the farmer takes scraps from several Kansas City restaurants and things to feed the pigs. He does grow the pigs for human consumption. This is only his second year having a farm. But when the pigs are ready, Jonathan plans to sell the meat to small chefs around the Kansas City area. This entire process Jonathan was working on is a very ecological and cyclically beneficial system for the entire community. And it's really inspiring to see. We came back to Kansas City specifically for the wedding of our friends Aaron and Matt. Yeah, I will trust you and respect. Baron was Matt's best man and they both looked great. The wedding was beautiful and we were so happy to be there to celebrate. To be asked to be Matt's best man is an absolute honor. So thank you. Always remember that you're on the same team. Anytime you argue, the goal is not to win the argument, it's to come to a resolution together. <laughs> <laughs> and when in doubt, Aaron's always back. <laughs> Don't forget to breathe. When you feel overwhelmed, <coughs> slow down, go outside, look up at the stars, take a deep breath. Life's too short and it's meant to be enjoyed. Take a look around you at all these awesome people. All these people are here for you. Soak in this moment and know that if any time you ever need anything, I'm a phone call. A couple days after the wedding, we went on a canoe trip with Baron's mom and the newlywed couple. We camped right on the river. It was beautiful. Baron and I car camped in the Subaru and Baron's mom, Lisa, slept in a tent with camp. This is so comfy. We need to sleep in the tent more often. We got on the water and took a couple minutes to remember how the heck to operate a canoe. Can you see how fast this water was going? The Midwest has had a lot of flooding, so the river was deep and fast, and not even five minutes into our trip, Lisa and I sunk our damn canoe. Camp was in the canoe too, poor thing, but he was okay. We got swept up on top of a log at the fork in the river, and as we tried pushing ourselves off the log, the canoe kind of tipped and filled with water and instantly sunk. Thank goodness for Baron and Matt who were able to grab it underwater and flip it before it floated away. The only things that were lost were Lisa's water cup and Matt's shoes, and thankfully nobody was hurt. We were all kind of rattled, so Camp and I got in the kayak and Baron took my place in the canoe and we had an epic rest of the day on the river. Look at that big guy still facing us. You see that guy? He's for sure over five pounds. Yeah, he does. That's why they're swimming away. But man, that is a big fish. How are you doing, Camp? Toward the end of the float, I caught myself pausing in a state of gratitude for this life Baron and I have designed together with the love and support of our parents, siblings, friends, and peers, and those of you here on the internet. We choose to live with less and spend very little money in order to have more time to create, to travel, and to enjoy our lives that are so rapidly fleeting. Time does not stop and wait for us. And so, we have to use the precious time we do have with care, squeezing every bit of life out of each moment. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the listing of my new beaded earrings and for the awesome renovations that are happening in this camp. I cannot wait to show you. I've already seen some of them and it is going to be the dopest thing ever. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.